One's first experience of science fiction in life, perhaps, is climbing up into Santa's lap in a department store. Waiting in line to do it is one's first experience of Kafka. Little Paul, however, had very little sense of this, or was over it. He had never seen Santa before, so to him it was simply a curious experience. Stop fidgeting, said the woman in front of him to her little boy who was jiggling the red rope that mazed them all in line, or I'll kill you. Behind him was another little boy. We're getting ahead, he said, pulling on his mother's coat. Don't be so impatient, she answered to him, or Santa will give you a lump of coal. Paul neither fidgeted nor tugged. His mother held his snowsuit. Now up ahead, he could see Santa on the dais. He would bend down and pick up each youngster and put him on his knees, at which the child's mother or father would beam approval on Santa, a sort of last-ditch grin, desperate and futile. Santa was evidently some kind of nabob and must be looked upon with favor. Paul, I, I have to go to the lavatory, said his mother. You're a good boy. Y you just stay in line. And Paul was a good boy, too. What is a good boy? A good boy is not a boy who gets A's in math and conduct, plays baseball, and finishes all his P's. No. A good boy is a boy who enjoys being a good boy so much that he can enjoy other little boys not being good boys. Paul laughed when the boy again said to his mother, We're getting ahead, but this time from in front of him where they had inched. The boy swinging on the rope sulked at the boy who had gotten ahead and hid his face in his mother's dress. Behave, she said, or I'll beat the living daylights out of you. The boy who had got ahead also got ahead of the swinging, sulking boy, so he was the first to climb on Santa's lap. He asked for a moped to get ahead on and a brass trumpet to announce to everyone that that was what he was up to. The other boy asked for a chemistry set to fiddle with and a Batman costume to hide behind. But when Paul climbed into Santa's lap, no one could hear what he said, except Santa, who first looked surprised and then smiled. What Paul got when he came down on Christmas morning was just what a good boy would get. But what the bad boys got when they came down was quite different. What they found under their trees were no presents, no stockings, no toys. In fact, in both cases, there was no tree. What they found sitting there instead was a boy. A very good boy. Just their own age waiting for them. Merry Christmas. <laughs>